Uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, my name's Harrison Scott Key. I'm an author and um, I'm an educator and I'm a father and a husband. I'm other things too. I'm a drummer. Uh, I'm not great, but I'm better than, than some. I'm better than my children. Tell us about your first book. Uh, the World's Largest Man. It's a memoir about my family, about growing up in the South, about Mississippi, uh, mostly about my dad. I mean, some people have called it one of the two greatest memoirs of all time. So I, that was me who said that, but I'm, I, I, I'm a kind of an authority, I, I guess. So I think it's one of the two greatest books ever written is what I'm trying to say. What was the other one? Uh, the other one is my new book is that is uh, coming out um, this fall. That's the other greatest book ever written. Uh, it, well, it's definitely one of the two best books I've ever written. <laughs> How many books have you written? I've written two books. What's your advice to people who want to write about their families? I'd wait until they're all dead. Do you write about your family in this book too? Yes. And how do they uh, feel about it? Uh, it's hard to know what they think. Um, they won't return my calls, so I don't know. And what are books that have inspired you over the years? I'm, I mean, I always go back to A Confederacy of Dunces, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, all the books of Charles Portis I cannot recommend enough, um, The End of Vandalism by, uh, um, I think it's Tom Drury, maybe is his name. What advice would you want to give people who are seeking to write a book? I would say um, write a sentence, and if it sucks, I would write a new one, and then I'd write enough ones that don't suck until you get a paragraph, and then build that into like multiple paragraphs, and then eventually you have like a whole page that doesn't suck, and then do that like about 300 more times. It. It's pretty simple. It's just really difficult. A book, a work of art, should be a pleasure machine. It should be a thing designed to bring pleasure to the reader or the viewer if it's a, an album or a film. Um, I used to not think that. I used to think that a book was just a truth machine. But I feel like a work of art has to be more than just true. It has to be more than just things that you believe are indeed not false about the world. Um, I think a work of art, that's where the goodness and the beauty come in and not just the truth. It has to be a pleasure machine. That You get pleasure through wisdom. You get pleasure from the experience and the suspense of how the action is structured. You get pleasure from the language. But that's why editing is important. That's why it can't be too long. Um, I look at my first book and I think, yeah, there's some things I would absolutely have done differently because I know, I think I know better how to create pleasure in the reader now than I did five years ago when I was writing that book. And, and I'm sure that in every book I'll go back and look and see things I could have done better. Uh, tell us about your new book. Um, congratulations. Who are you again? Is my new memoir. It's a book about, uh, the American dream and how impossible it was for me to do something even, I don't know, my, I felt like my American dream was pretty modest. Uh, would you like me to, yeah. you want me to talk about that? Okay, well. What is your American dream? So my American dream was to be a writer and uh, uh, a successful professor and a loving father and a great husband and to be wealthy and have a, a large home and to own many jet skis and to have a lot of investments and own really nice leather furniture and it turned out to be really difficult to do all of that. Well, I, I've been able to do it, but it was harder than I thought it would be. What made it so difficult? Um, well, leather furniture is very expensive.